They raised rates. That's about it. Federal funds now at a range of five and a quarter to five and a half percent. That is the highest in 22 years. In their statement, Fed officials dropped the phrase about pausing to assess the state of the economy, replacing it with the committee will continue to assess additional information and its implications for monetary policy. Future guidance was identical to June, leaving the door open to another rate move in the future. In determining the extent of additional policy firming that may be appropriate to return inflation to 2% over time, the statement repeats, the committee will take into account the cumulative tightening of monetary policy, the lags with which monetary policy affects economic activity and inflation, and economic and financial developments. The economic assessment is little changed. Activity has been been expanding at a moderate pace, perhaps a little faster than the modest pace seen in June. Job gains remain robust, unemployment remains low, and inflation remains elevated. Tighter credit conditions are likely to weigh on economic activity, hiring, and inflation, but the extent of these effects remains uncertain, the statement says, and the committee remains highly attentive to inflation risks. No change to QT. The decision was unanimous. Conclusion, see you in September.